Allen Career Institute announces special leader course for JEE main and advanced classes from 15th April. For more detail, log on to allen.ac.in. Question number 81, we have to find the area bounded by y equals to root x and the line 2y equals to x minus root 3. We will sketch the graph of the line. It is 2y equals to minus x, 2y equals to x minus 3. When we sketch the line, this is origin, this point is say A, this is say B. We draw a perpendicular, this is x axis. We will calculate this point capital A, capital A by substituting y as 0, this is 3 comma 0. And by solving these two curves, we will have the point B as 9 comma 3. We have to calculate this shaded area. And to calculate this shaded area, we will integrate root x from 0 to 9. This gives us the area bounded by O, this curve, this x-axis and this line. So we have to subtract this area of triangle. This point is say C whose coordinates are 9 comma 0. And area of this triangle will be half base into height. The base will be 6 and the height will be 3. We will solve it and get the value. This is x raised to the power 3 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 3 from 0 to 9 minus 9. This is 2 by 3 multiplied by 9 minus 9. This gives us, this is not 9, this is 27. This is 18 minus 9 equals to 9. So the final answer will be first. In question number 82, we have to calculate Tn. Tn is the number of possible triangles. The number of triangles will be equal to the number of ways in which we can choose three points because there, this is a n sided regular polygon and no three points will be collinear. So every way of selecting three points will give us a unique way of selecting a triangle. So the number of triangles will be nc3 and as an equation is tn plus 1, tn plus 1 will become n plus 1 c3 minus and C3 equals to 10. Now you have two choices either to expand it or we can apply the formula NCR plus NCR minus 1 equals to N plus 1 CR by which it will become NC2. NC2 equals to 10. This is a simple quadratic by solving we will have N equals to 5. So our answer will be 2. In question number 83, Z is a unimodular complex number. Its magnitude is 1. It implies z z bar is equal to 1. And they are asking the argument of z plus 1 over z bar plus 1. We can replace z bar by 1 upon z. This after simplification gives us z. So argument of z plus 1 upon z bar plus 1 is equal to argument of z which is already given to us. And this is theta. That's why our answer is 3.